Now worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Now if ye be ready, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, palsy, and dulcimina, and all kinds of music, ye shall fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same power into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of the thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And therefore he spake and commanded that they should be that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was want to be eaten, twenty and ending. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and to cast them into the burning, fiery furnace. Amen. Here ended the portion of God's word, he honored by saying, Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, World without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We sing from the Redemption Song Book. 349. I've passed my heavy burden down on Kings and Abbey Shore. I'm living where the healing waters flow. I'm wandering in the wilderness of doubt and sin no more. I'm living where the healing waters flow. I've passed my heavy burden down on Kings and Abbey Shore.
being of the Lord at this time, Ethan, whatever is coming, to pray God blessing upon the tithes and offering.
the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I must give honor to God who is the head of my life. I greet uh, Pastor Houston in his absence and also Pastor Henry in his absence. And I want to greet the officer, all the deacons, all the evangelists, and every member of the mystical body of Christ. I greet you this afternoon in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, he that was dead is now alive and well forevermore. I'm so glad to see, amen, each and every one this afternoon. Bless the name of the Lord. I'm truly do. Bless the name of the Lord. In this pandemic, we are going through some tough times. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. We are going through some rough times, saints. Bless the name of the Lord. But the word of God said in Psalms 118, we shall not die, but we shall live and declare the works of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. We want to declare and decree today that God Church, let me tell you that God is going to carry us through. He's going to see us through. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. And as we continue, bless the name of the Lord to maintain our social distancing and to keep, bless the name of the Lord, ourselves safe. Because this virus, it is not to take simple. It is dangerous. But I thank God that we have the last one. We have not lost one. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. And I praise God for that. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for our front, uh, our, our, our workers that are on the front line. somebody yes. and we continue to pray for them amen. amen that God will keep them in amen. such a time like this bless the name of the Lord amen. so we thank God that God is on the job amen. God is on the job saints amen. amen bless the name of the Lord praise God it is a trying time amen. oh bless the name of the Lord I will not keep you long bless the name of the Lord Today is Men's Day, but we understand. Yeah. Bless the name of the Lord. We will not, service is not going to be as usual. No. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. So we have to praise ourselves for the changes. Yeah. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. We have to work with the changes. Bless the name of the Lord. Yeah. But today is Men's Day. Bless the name of the Lord. And we greet all the men in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. I heard from our pastor, uh, Houston. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. And he could not be here today. Bless the name of the Lord. He is on uh, his vacation. Bless the name of the Lord. So every now and then, everybody need a break. Yeah. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Regardless who you are, yeah. bless the name of the Lord. You need a break. Yeah. Bless the name of the Lord. So it's good to take a break sometime. Take some time out. Take some rest. Yeah. Amen. Get and uh, relax and, and, and take care of you. Yeah. Because only you can take care of you. 
bless the name of the Lord. I will not keep you long today, bless the name of the Lord. The lesson that has read, uh, we used this um, lesson, amen, a couple of months ago uh, for the men's anniversary uh, with the phone conference. Bless the name of the Lord. And I think I want to use the same, amen, topic um, today. Amen. If you permit me, I would want to spend 25 minutes to 30 minutes at least, bless the name of the Lord, to share with the church. Bless the name of the Lord. I don't want to keep you long because uh, this uh, mass was not designed. Oh, yes. oh, bless the name of the Lord. It was not designed. Amen. Amen. For people to have it on for a certain period of time. Oh, bless the name of God. So we have to use some wisdom. So I am going to be very quick with you. Bless the name of the Lord. So that we can get out here. Bless the name of the Lord. The a story uh, from the book of Daniel chapter 3. And uh, from the... We read this morning from verse 8 through the 20th. And we understand pretty much, bless the name of the Lord, about this text or this, uh, this chapter of the book of Daniel. Bless the name of the Lord. Time to time, we've been through this. Bless the name of the Lord. And we understand the situation here. Bless the name of the Lord. So the text I want to use is the same text that we have used, the same topic rather, being fully persuaded. So I uh, would like to use that today as well. Bless the name of the Lord. Uh, we have a song that they sing from Lorian Williams said, I serve a mighty God who reign in heaven and above in majesty supreme. So long as I am inside, my life feels so designed, I am persuaded that God will see me true. Bless the name of the Lord, that God will see me true. The book of Daniel, bless the name of the Lord. As we read, the, bless the name of the Lord, that the children of Israel were brought into captivity. Bless the name of the Lord. We are living in a time that is full of uncertainty. Amen. And people are not sure what next or what is going to happen. Amen. Amen. Just as the time when the children of Israel were faced with a lot of uncertainty and had to make some serious decision. Yeah. Some serious decision. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Fully persuading cause someone to believe something, especially after sustained effort, convince. When you are fully persuaded, you have to be convinced. When you are convinced, bless the name of the Lord, you mean it's me. That you believe. Amen. And you believe firmly. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Or to win someone over. By reasoning. Or by force of personality. Bless the name of the Lord. When you are fully persuaded. Bless the name of the Lord. You are not easily. Because you believe by faith. You cannot fully persuade it without faith. You have to have faith. Faith activate. You have to activate your faith uh, to be fully persuaded. We have an account here with a ruler by the name of King Nebuchadnezzar. Oh, the king of Babylon. He was a, a, a warrior. He was a terror. Bless the name of the Lord. And he was described as the greatest military leader in Nero Babylon, uh, in Empire. He lead a 
and he saw the numerous big tree. He rebuilt Babylon walls and gates and he determined who comes in or who goes out. So in other words, he was a great dictator. And when a dictator rules, bless the name of the Lord, they rule heavily. And breaking the rule of a dictator, it's a consequence. And the consequence is severe. Bless the name of the Lord. But in this text we find that uh, Daniel and his three young men, they were in Babylon. And when you are in Babylon, you are in a strange place. You are not in your whole country. And when you are not in your whole country, you lose certain privilege. You lose certain privilege. You lose certain rights. Bless the name of the Lord. And you lose your constitutional right. You have to do what you are commanded to do. Yes. Bless the name of the Lord. You cannot do as you like. No. You have to follow the rules of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And you have to behave yourself. Because you lose your constitutional right. You lose your privilege. We are living in a time now when certain people have certain privilege over certain people. Yeah. And bless the name of the Lord. It is sad, but it's reali reality. Mm -hmm. There are some people who have certain privilege. Mm -hmm. And some people don't have that type of privilege. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Nebuchadnezzar built the walls of Babylon, bless the name of the Lord. And the wall was so high, bless the name of the Lord. And he also considered an inspire of numerous music and arts and image. And he specialized in music. Bless the name of the Lord, he specialized in music. And he considered himself was so great. Bless the name of the Lord. That no man, and he don't care who you are, can disobey the heart that is set before you. Bless the name of the Lord. So he made it a, 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 an attack on Jerusalem and a successful campaign against the people. Take into captivity into Babylon the people of God. And when you are in Babylon, uh, somebody said, When you are in Rome, you have to do as the Romans do, bless the name of the Lord. But not so. Some of us still have a praise, bless the name of the Lord. In spite that you are in Rome, you don't have to do what Romans do. You don't have to go with the flow. But you must maintain your integrity. You must maintain the God of your Father. But we have some people who will say, well, because I'm in Babylon and, and so forth, I have to go with the flow. Otherwise, the consequence is going to be severe. And oh yes, you might lose your life. But you have to be fully persuaded. Bless the name of the Lord. You have to be fully persuaded. The Bible said that there were some people who were watching and conspired against the people and the young men. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. They conspired against Daniel. Can you believe it? And Daniel was cast in the lion pen but when you are fully persuaded bless the name of the lord you shall walk through the valley of the shadow of death oh bless the name of the lord and nothing can harm you Amen. Amen. they conspire against daniel and daniel did not bless the name of the lord decided God. 
And he prayed to God, bless the name of the Lord. And during his prayer, praying to God, bless the name of the Lord. The people who conspire against Daniel reminded the king about the law. Bless the name of the Lord. That when a king has a decree, no man, bless the name of the Lord, can break that decree. decree. Bless the name of the Lord. So Daniel were brought and thrown into the land then. Bless the name of the Lord. And uh, bless the name of the Lord. Daniel were resting amongst lions. Sometimes the people of God are in the lion den. Sometimes people of the children of God are resting amongst lions. Bless the name of the Lord. Because when you are fully persuaded, bless the name of the Lord. Go to the church. Don't tell me that the church is not going through difficult time. Bless the name of God. And if there's any individual here today is, is climbing on the time of stream, oh, then God bless you. God bless you. But Daniel, when he was casting it down, he had nobody to rescue him. But bless the name of the Lord, he was fully persuaded. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. And he slept among the lion. Some of us, bless the name of the Lord, are amongst the lion. Bless the name of the Lord, but we're fully persuaded. We are going to bless the name of the Lord because Jesus is on our side. And do the lion may roar, but he can't bite you because you are in the arms of sweet deliverance. You are in the arms of Jesus. You are safe. You are secure. Bless the name of the Lord. These three young men, bless the name of the Lord. The information was given to them that there is going to be a dedication. And during this dedication, it's mean a lot to King Nebuchadnezzar. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. It means a lot to him because he sets up everything. Bless the name of the Lord. And everybody, every individual, all the different type of, uh, of, 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 of leaders from his cabinet have to bow before the golden image and worship. Amen. Nobody is exempt from worship the golden image. It doesn't matter who you are. Now where you come from, bless the name of the Lord. You have to bow down and to worship the golden image. Bless the name of the Lord. But some of us, regardless what happened, we not don't bow. Some of us, regardless what happened, we not gonna bow. Bless the name of the Lord. We are gonna still stand tall. Bless the name of the Lord. But the king understand in every organization and everywhere there are people that are just spectators. You have people that like to carry news. You have news carrier. Everything happened there carry the news as fast as the news can carry. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. They're good with news. They're good with news. Amen. All they do is watch to carry news. There was a news carrier right here. And they were observing that the three young men, uh, in spite of the type of music that was playing, they regard now. And they brought it attention to the king. Bless the name of the Lord. But the king wanted to make sure that he gave a second chance to these, to these men. He wanted to hear it for himself, personal. I, I understand, you know, when somebody brings some news to you, you say, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the news. But I want to be certain. Bless the name of the Lord. The king said, I want to be certain that it is so. But the king grabbed them and said, I understand that you regard not the law, bless the name of the Lord, nor bow to worship the golden image when all 
the music were playing. A young man, uh, bless the name of the Lord, did not reconsider the king amen plan. They did not reconsider it. Because when you are fully persuaded, you don't have time to consider or reconsider your position. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Because if you're going to reconsider your position, you did not, you wasn't fully persuaded. Bless the name of the Lord. So the king brought them before him and said, I'm going to give you a second chance to reconsider your position where you stand. So we're going to start the music all over again. And in the sound of the music, I'm going to ask you to do what you are told to do. Because they were in Babylon, so they lost all the privilege. That's right. You have to do what you have to do. But some of us, you're going to have to kill us. <laughs> Might as well. Uh, missionary led man, we, 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 we fully persuaded. Nothing, no stamp. Bless the name of the Lord. So the king said, I will play the music again. And when the king commanded that the music should be played, play it. Amen. And realize that this young man said, listen, when I move, oh, bless the name of the Lord. You standing before one of the most dangerous men, amen, the king of Babylon, and tell him no. The king was so mad. Bless the name of the Lord. Because he never used to somebody retaliate like that. Right. Yes. But you see, when you believe in whom you believe. Amen. You see, when you believe in God fully. Yes. And, and in the young man, they put their lives on the line. They put their integrity on the line. They put everything that they have on the line. They were fully persuaded. They said, we... They did not, they did not have individual speed. Sometimes it's not everybody up to speed. But one person stand out and say, we yes. are speaking to everybody now. Right. Bless the name of love. We, O oh King, we are not careful to answer thee. And I think they were smart young men. They could have answered. But they believe in the God of their father Abraham. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. There are some are. They said, We are not careful. One person answer for everybody. It's not that one person said, I am not sure. Bless the name of the Lord. Ah, so I am going to change my man. But one person stand up. Said, Okay. We are not. Um, Careful to answer thee in this matter. Amen. Hear what they said. No, but the God in whom we serve, Amen. oh God Almighty, is able. He's able to deliver. Amen. Amen. He's able to deliver. Amen. You don't have to jump to answer some question. No. Sometimes you have to learn to take, to take, you need to, 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 to humble yourself. Sometimes said listen I can't answer you now in this matter but the God whom we serve is able to deliver if they put God bless the name of the Lord they put God ahead and trust that God will carry them through in spite of the king was very fury and turned When you are trusting God, the fire is going to turn up on you. Yes. Sometimes it turn up on your work, please. Yes. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Sometimes every heart is against you. All because you are trusting yes. Jesus. But somebody said, I am going through. Yes. I am trusting God. Yes. And the young man there decided no. Regardless of the fire. Though the battle may be hard, yes. church of God, yes. and the conflict sore, yes. but I am going through with Jesus. Amen. I know the church is not 
going to an easy time. But I come to tell you today to tie up because God is the delivering God. The king said, Who is this God? Bless the name of God. Some people sometimes want to be literally your God. But I ask you in the name of Jesus to take your stand. Take your stand. persuaded that he's able he's able to keep that which I commanded unto you for I am not ready to be offered because the time of my departure the time of my departure is at hand church of God he said I fought a good fight I fought a good fight and I finished my fighting a battle and we are not fighting against flesh and blood but we are fighting against principality we are fighting against spiritual wickedness in all places Adolf Paul directed these words to Timothy this message to every servant of Jesus Christ who facing great affliction and difficult time Bless the name of the Lord. A lot of us today have to make some great decision in this difficult time. Bless the name of the Lord. Romans 8, 38 says, For I am persuaded, oh, the apostle Paul said, that neither death, nor angels, nor principality, nor power, nor nothing present, now things to come. Amen. That's the name of the Lord. Amen. Now heights, now depths, now any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Man of God said, nothing, nothing shall separate me from the love of God. If you want to lie for me, bring it down. Paul was 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 facing persecution. Paul was facing some difficult time. I'm coming down, church. We are facing some difficult time. There are some challenges that we are facing and we are going through. But today I want to encourage you that these words we may sink them into our soul because there are still difficult times ahead of us still. We don't know. We don't know. But we are saying there are difficult times ahead of us. Romans 8, Romans 4 verse 21. Be fully persuaded. That what I have promised, he is able also to perform. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. The Bible said, by faith, Abraham, when he was tried, he offered Isaac. He offered Isaac. And he had received the promise. After up his only begotten son. His only begotten son. Bless the name of the Lord. What, what a faith. It is impossible to serve God without faith. Amen. You, we have to have faith. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. We have to have faith. Amen. If somebody had told us that we were going to go through this pandemic a couple months before that yeah. we would never believe it yeah. the world is shaking the world is shaking and nobody know what is going to be next but all we know that we are holding on to the God of our Father, Amen. 
the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. Amen. The Lord appeared to Abraham and said, Abraham, step out of thy father kindred into a country that you know not. Can you believe it? Abraham stepped out by faith on a journey that he know not. Bless the name of the Lord. When the Lord appeared to Moses, bless the name of the Lord, Moses said, I cannot. Bless the name of the Lord. Go back down to Egypt to speak to Pharaoh because he's a terror. But the Lord said to Moses, I want you to go down to Egypt and tell Pharaoh that I am the I am that sent you down to Egypt. Bless the name of the Lord. Sometime God speak and we question it. But when Moses was coming across the Red Sea, bless the name of the Lord, he has to use what God had given him to use. He was now fully persuaded when he stood before Pharaoh. God had built up his courage. And when he stood before Pharaoh, he were able, bless the name of the Lord, to speak to him boldly and said, Let my people go. Amen. We will come to our Red Sea. Amen. Oh, and when you come to your Red Sea, you'll have to make a decision. When Moses came to his Red Sea, and the people of God were rebelling, but Moses, God said to Moses, what you have in your hand, use it. Stand with me, church. Use it. What you have in your hand. Bless the name of the Lord. Because if God sent you, He's going to prepare you for the journey. Amen. And he's going to deliver you. Amen. When Moses stretched out his rod, bless the name of the Lord, the water were divided. Amen. And the children of God cross over. Amen. I am here to encourage the church today that we are crossing over. Amen. It does not matter, bless the name of the Lord, but we are crossing over. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. We are crossing over, church. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Though it seems as if the water is going to overflow us. Amen. We are crossing over. Bless the name of the Lord. We are crossing over. And we are going through. Amen. We are going through. Oh, be strong, church. Be strong in the grace. And in the power that are in Christ Jesus. And I ask you, as we are fully, fully persuaded, oh, bless the name of the Lord, that when the battle get hot, oh, bless the name of the Lord, and when every heart is against us, oh, bless the name of the Lord, we can say, we are not capable to answer thee in this matter. But our God who we serve is able to deliver us. May God bless you, church. May God keep you. May the peace of God rest upon us today as we sing from our church redemption 788 uh, far away in the depths of my spirit tonight Rolls away the melody sweet than songs and electoral like the saints. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Peace, peace. Wonderful peace.
coming down from the Father above, sleep over my spirit. Forever I pray. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. We are going to sing one, uh, two, and five. Praise to you.
we're going to pray for every saints of the mystical body of Christ that you will keep us in such a time like this. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this moment that you are Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You are the God of Abraham. You are the God of Isaac. You are the God of Jacob. We thank you, God. Had it not been for you on our side, the enemy would have destroy us but through it all your God we are asking of your God to help us today because we are more than conqueror to Jesus Christ oh Lord we ask you today dear God to direct us God to cover us under the blood help us dear God oh God we ask in the name of Jesus uh, that you will keep us mighty God we are trusting and depending upon you we are asking you, dear God, to help us, mighty God. Oh, God, we cannot do it by ourselves, but we are asking you to lead us, God. We pray for our pastor, dear God, wherever he be and his family, dear God. I pray for journey and traveling mercy. Cover him under the blood, dear God, and give him strength. Give him courage, dear God. I pray for Pastor Henry and his family, dear God, that you will keep them safe in such a time like this, dear God. Lord, I pray for the church, my God, that you will cover us under the blood. Keep us safe. Keep us, my God. Oh, God, give us good health, mighty God, and help us to focus upon you, to trust and to depend upon you, dear God. In the name of Jesus, we declare and decree to the dear God, oh, God, that there is no weapon, my God, that from against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rise against us in judgment shall Cover us now, dear God. Go with us as we're about, oh God, to leave from here. Cover us under the blood and protect us, dear God, as we thank you, as we thank you for all what you have done, God, and what you're about to do. We thank you, we thank you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the blessed Holy Ghost. We give you thanks right now, dear God. In Jesus' name. And we have to be a big rejoicing now, God. And going home in the old fashioned way.